when these ethnic landscapes come to light, right? Um, that I think there's a, an immediacy to commemorate them versus trying to understand why they were hidden, right? To me, this is the bigger, you know, set of questions with, you know, these places of my ancestors and others who were not valued in, in a larger way. And so on one hand, by having these landscapes disappear, in a way, they help the consciousness of the country forget, right, who we are and who we were. And I always hear this comment, that's not us, it is us. <laughs> and I think this kind of exhuming or trying to piece back together, you know, these, these sites where people inhabited these sites and made their lives, I think could be a way for us to sort of understand the true history of this country. And so for me, it's not really about the single site. I can see these sites are everywhere. These sites are, there's Mr. Bush up in the Northwest, you know, the first African-American to make his way up there. You know, this is in Portland. We think of Portland as a progressive city, one of the most racist cities, history. Uh, in Los Angeles, I mean, we can go from place to place, from New Mexico, we can find these places. But I think I would rather the kind of evocation of them that they get pieced together as this larger landscape, right? That that has been hidden from us. And I think until we can piece them together and create this labyrinth that, that is all consuming, meaning that it's part of the US, I don't think we'll have a sense of the power, right, of the heterogeneous makeup of this country. And so I think just because, you know, we find one side here and one side there, it really doesn't tell the, the great story. The story is, you know, brown and black people were everywhere in this country. And those things are not valued, you know, it suggests then that we're not valued. We have nostalgia for our communities. We have nostalgia for those places, right, that existed, you know, for generations, but we can't go back to anything. And the nostalgia is not the restorative nostalgia of going back and trying to piece it together, but maybe we can use the more dynamic sense of nostalgia to begin to piece together things to talk about what we're missing. And to me, that's what our landscapes need. They need that sense of, of someone that I need to return to a place and feel like I'm still part of that place. And I do think the material culture helps you do that. And when you don't have any of that, there's still that yearning, you know, there's still that yearning to me for, you know, the little white church where we buried my mother in the pine forest in North Carolina, that's completely erased. You know, we, we can't even find her grave anymore because they completely erased it and moved it. And so it's things like that, that I think, you know, we feel a loss to, and we, we're nostalgic for those things.